Hi, this is Megan Chen. Welcome to this video that will help you to understand why is my child's speech unclear and how does speech therapy help? And I'll share my three-hour formula as well. So hopefully with more clarity about the process, it will enable you to support your child better and make speech therapy more enjoyable and more effective. Okay. First of all, why is it important for your child to have clear speech? Okay, number one, that's obvious. You want to be able to understand your child, right? I had a student who was four or five, and I think his speech problem actually became mommy's road safety problem because mommy kept having to turn around to look at him to find out what he's talking about. Okay, so that's number one, you want to be able to understand your child. Number two, Okay, at least for adults, we're likely to be more patient, uh, more understanding, we'll try to ask questions, and if nothing else, we'll try to be more polite. All right, but that's not likely to happen with other children. I actually have parents who decided to do speech therapy because uh, other children were coming up to them and saying, you know, Uncle, I don't understand what Jaden is talking about. Or, you know, Auntie, Ethan can't talk. All right, so other children are likely to be you know, very blunt about it. Okay, and number three, if your child is not able to speak clearly, it's likely to affect how they learn reading and spelling as well. Imagine in a class where your child is learning, say, phonics or reading with other children, and while everybody else is learning that, okay, letter S sound is you know, S for sun, uh, L for lion, and so forth, if your child is not able to say the sounds clearly, it's really going to affect how he or she thinks about the letter sounds. Okay, next. Okay, I should talk about the number one myth, all right? Uh, many parents might worry, okay, is this because my child has a short tongue? But actually, the number one most common reason that a child has difficulty speaking clearly is actually because of an incorrect tongue position. Okay, so when he's saying um, instead of sun, he's saying tan. Instead of saying go, he's saying do. Instead of saying color, he's saying you know, uh, color, something like that. Okay, so how does speech therapy help? Okay, here's my three hour formula to help you to understand the process better. Number one, you need to understand how to explain to a child what to do and to have a specific reminder. Okay, so for example, if a child is saying, uh, uh, instead of saying shoe, he's saying, you know, my do, my do, instead of my shoe, right? You want to have a very specific reminder. And it's important that this is a child-friendly reminder that your child will understand as well. So uh, I might explain, okay, remind a child, you have to blow, you have to blow the sound, shoe, right? Okay, number two. Uh, you want to contrast the right sound and the wrong sounds. If you're not very comfortable using right and wrong, you can use words like, you know, the new way or the old way. All right. Uh, one secret is that in order to talk better, your child actually needs to listen better as well. And it's such a shame when parents are already spending the time and effort working on um, the speech, just to remember to make sure that you're working on the listening as well. Okay. And number three, uh, you want to learn how to practice in the right way. So, for example, if you're working on an S sound, sun, uh, slow, uh, six, seven, and so forth. Yes, yeah, so on the one hand, you want to have a lot of variety of different words to practice, but you also want to practice specific words with lots of repetitions in order to build up the muscle memory that's necessary. Okay, so that's a three-hour formula. Okay, so I find that one tip that I share with parents where you can try to combine those tips as an easy to follow suggestion is actually to repeat how your child says a word before you show him the correct way. Okay, so if a child comes to me and says, you know, I want a da, I want a da. While well, most adults would say, you know, star, maybe you just start correcting your child. What I would do is actually to repeat how the child says it before I show him how to say it the correct way. So I might say something like, oh, I don't have a da, I do have a star. Okay, so you can see that in a sentence like that, I try to show the child how he is saying it uh, before I show him the correct way to say it. Okay, so there you go. That's a very uh, quick, brief uh, description of the process. 
Uh, I've tried to make it uh, short and simple so that you remember the most important points, but obviously I've only covered the tip of the iceberg, okay? But I wanted to get the information out to you because I think it's really important you have clarity about the process so that you understand what to do. So even talking about the number one tip, for example, you might find that, you know, in terms of from the parent's perspective, when you are trying to do that, when you try to say, oh, okay, um, I don't have a ta, okay, I do have a star, it means that you have to listen to your child and listen to how he says it before you can correct him, okay? So that in itself is very educational because it shows you the process that your child has to go through as well. So if you've gotten something out of this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It will really mean a lot to me. And of course, if you think you need more support in helping your child, please feel free to go to our website for more information. Thank you.